Are you a private eye? No. Ex-cop? No. Military? No. Exactly what do you do? I've changed the story. Ray Donovan is a fixer for a high-end law firm in Los Angeles. Yeah, Deontay, what's up? I got a strange female in the bed with me. What's the problem? She dead, dog. I'm on it. How are we gonna fix this, Raymond? Ezra, who is one of the partners at the law firm that Ray works for, he saw potential in Ray, and so he brought Ray and his entire family from South Boston to Los Angeles. Everyone's fine. We're not fine. I hate it here. Abby Donovan's married to Ray. It's a really complicated relationship. Their relationship is struggling, but they love each other and they love their children, and I think that holds them together. He got out. Who got out? The old man made parole. Mickey Donovan is Ray's father. About 20 years ago, Ray sent him away for a crime he didn't commit. At the beginning of our show, he makes parole a lot earlier than Ray had anticipated. You go near my family. I'll fucking kill you. Ray has a lot of issues with his dad. It holds him responsible for a lot of the things that are haunting him. Gunter, what's up? I need to get over here. I fucked up real bad. Ray is also the patriarch of the Donovans. They're a mixed up group. Terry runs a boxing gym, and as Parkinson's, Bunchy was abused by a priest. Is that the one that abused Bunchy? Wasn't only Bunch. They've all been damaged in some way because of Nicky Donovan. So Ray goes to Boston to find public enemy number one, which was Sully Sullivan. What are you doing here, Ray? I want you to kill my father. Doesn't take much time for it to turn bad. Saved your life, Ray Ray. Yeah. Ray. We're fucked. In season two, the FBI is investigating Ray for the death of Sully Sullivan. You were on that dock that night, and I would really like to know why. And that puts him in some fairly sticky situations. Meanwhile, Mickey is on parole. Do we expect him to turn over a new leaf? I don't think so. Get out of here. Ray was really pushed to the edge. As was dead. In season three, Ray finds himself on his own and having to rebuild his empire. Well, this season, we're not really dealing with the guys who run the studios. We're dealing with the guys who own the studios. Andrew Finney. He offers Ray a job. You find that fair? By taking the deal. He's hoping to change the situation for himself and for his family. Of course, Finney has a stunningly beautiful daughter who turns out to be a real piece of work, and the intrigue continues from there. <laughs> I'm gonna let you in on a vision I have of a way we can all get rich together. Mickey gets into dealings with the Armenian Mafia. Shit, Mick, get out! Terry got shot because of these activities. They're gonna kill me. I need help. And then both Ray and Mickey came together and took care of business. It was a violent ending to the Mafia. The end of season three, we find Ray so beaten down, both physically and emotionally, that he's willing to ask for forgiveness. Forgive me, Father, for I've sinned. This season, the underground criminal world here in Los Angeles and the Russian Mafia intersect. We're gonna see the same rocket-fueled ride we typically go on. Let's hope we survive it again.